Thank you. Welcome, everybody. I'm Samuel Pierce. We and to my right is Councilman Snee. To my left is, sorry, Councilwoman Snee. To my right and to my left is Councilman Phillips. This is the Building Utilities Committee. The time right now is 6 p.m. on January 29th. Today we're meeting to provide a recommendation to Council regarding the authorizing the Director of Public Service and Safety to advertise for bids and enter into a contract for the Hobart Arena Dehumidifier Replacement Project at a cost not to exceed $450,000. Do you have anything to add to that? Uh, just that this was uh, requested and recommended by the Recreation Board. It is part of the 2024 approved budget, uh, in capital budget, and it is estimated through the design work that was done um, through last year and uh, is hopefully will remain within budget. Uh, it is $450,000. Those are two major units that uh, dehumidify the, uh, uh, the ice rink in the main part of the, the arena. And the equipment is approximately 20 years old. We are not asking for emergency legislation. <clears throat> And Mr. Seiler, the director of uh, recreation director, is in the audience. If you have any technical questions, all right. Do you have any technical questions I, or any other questions? I kind of, I kind of do. I don't know whether uh, Mr. Seiler or Mr. Titterington is going to be able to answer this, but my question is: in reading the notes here, at least the report that we received, I mean. The, it kind of uh, warns us that this is an extremely high number because of the age and um, not able to replace the exact parts that were there. So we're having to go and redesign a new system, so to speak. Is that what I'm interpreting? Engineers, they they looked at various options, to various options uh, for the replacement of, and we determined that the most cost effective is to essentially do a one for one replacement. So we're looking to to replace those with units that are very like the units that were installed approximately 22 years ago. Um, obviously, they'll be newer and, and more efficient uh, units than what were installed at that time. Uh, these have outlived their useful life. They were expected to last 15 to 20 years, and we're at like 22 right now. Um, but we're, we're essentially doing a, a pretty much a like-for-like -like replacement. They're going to go into the same exact locations of the, where the existing units currently are. Uh, the engineers had looked at some possibilities of doing some rooftop units, um, adding another dehumidifier for in, uh, added redundancy. Um, but we have two units. They, as Mr. Titterington said, they, they dehumidify the main arena space. Fortunately, we do have air conditioning units in a very, very unique situation where we may have to have one of those help to supplement for a short-term scenario until we were to get one of the others replaced. But Again, to answer your question, really it's just a like-for-like -like replacement with more modern equipment. Okay, okay. well here's the important question. In that, um, and I understand the technological upgrades and potential savings with uh, more efficient uh, new units, but the big question in, in my head is could we have saved money by replacing these things earlier instead of coming to the useful end of their lifetime, lifetime and instead of having to spend such a big number. And that's just, it just, it may not be able to be done. I don't know whether that would be a cost saving uh, or not, but it just, it was a question that poked up in my head and I don't know if you have an answer. To that. I'm not sure that I necessarily have a definitive answer to your question. Okay. All right. Thank well, you. Well, we, we utilized it as long as as we could, I which guess we that. try to do. I do. Uh, um, I understand that. If there's anything extraordinary, it was probably it probably has to do with the uh, the inflation that that we're going through. Um, I know that we are expecting a bit of a lead time uh, to get the equipment, which is why they're asking for this in January and not later in the year. So they're still operating. 
Yes, they are still operating, okay. yes. So this is we, still a little bit of preventiveness in planning ahead. We, we've, we've experienced over the last several years increased maintenance on the units, so we're trying to get ahead of, to, to, to get these replaced before we get to the point of desperation. Gotcha. All right, all right. That, well, that paints a better picture in my head, so thanks. Thank you. Is, is there a warranty period on the new equipment that we're... So that'll be outlined in the deck, so we would, we, we're currently working on okay. with the engineers. So you're working on that. All right. Thank you. And the life expectancy of these would be 15, 20 years again. Is that what we're looking at? Correct. Okay. Do you guys have any other questions? All right. Any questions from any members in the audience? Any questions from any of the residents in the audience or staff? Okay. What is your guys' recommendation? Uh, move forward. Yeah, move forward as staff is requesting. All right. Is our recommendation move forward as staff is recommended? All right. Thank you. We are adjourned. <laughs>